getting the new dual radio ready to plug in and taking a listen to what it sounds like. Oh, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a um, Tuesday afternoon. No, this is Monday. Monday afternoon. I'm getting ahead of myself, I guess. Um, I, d I know that because I just brought the garbage can in. <laughs> garbage goes on Monday. All right. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> this may look familiar. I, I don't know if it does, but I I'm sure this part of it does. Uh, <laughs> I got this out today uh, of the car. I braved the 90 degree heat. And let me tell you, the back of this thing was very hot. Very, very hot. So, and it wasn't from being on. It was just, you know, the car was off. It was just being out in the sun. So I used my little, um, what do they call these? I don't know exactly what they call them, but these little keyways that go in the side here of the hole and you poke in there like that and it pushes the thing in and the radio comes out voila um, and I've went ahead and undone the uh, this one from it and I have the two uh, new or not new ones but the ones that'll go on the new radio uh, now this is the uh, circuit board part of it it just slides right out of that uh, metal uh, heat seal heat seal whatever it is if you can see the there's the display right there um, these right here I plan on taking that out and seeing if I can't replace it there should be a number on the back I'm hoping and if it is then maybe I can find the replacement for it and replace that if nothing else I'll use it here inside you know, somewhere that it doesn't have to be outside in the light to where I can see it. <laughs> so, you know, I've even thought about putting it in the boom box. Bill, I do have that boom box. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I still have it, and I am still haven't given up on it. Um, I got discouraged with it. Um, and, you know, everybody does that once in a while. But, uh, anyway, I still have it. And that would make a pretty decent one for that. But, you know, then if he used it outside, he couldn't see it. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, like I said, this is going to have to, I've got the soldering iron heating up, and we're going to uh, put the new wiring on there, and we'll take it out to the car, and we'll test the radio, and I'd like to see if I can see it. <laughs> if I can't see it, well, not sure, I'm not going to tear the display apart. Bob's already asked me if I'm going to do that again, so I said no. <laughs> uh, anywho, let me get the uh, other piece up here onto the bench, and we'll start soldering. I'm back again. It is almost two now in the afternoon. I uh, my plan has been working out so far. The uh, I've kept my solder joints as small as I can get them, and still yet get a good connection on the wire. And uh, I am twisting them together so they're solid, and those uh, just barely will fit, but they do fit. So that's the uh, most important thing. So I've got uh, four of them done so far. Now, I did notice one thing. It was kind of funny when I was looking at the um, this one here. <laughs> that, uh, I'm guessing it came from the factory that way because it's just a piece of heat, heat shrink, I think, on there. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, it is. <laughs> the rest of them are pre-stripped, pre I guess is what you'd call them, the pre-cut pre or whatever. And uh, so... Not really sure why that one's like that, but uh, it is. So maybe I had better look on the uh, instructions, see if there's anything special about that. Now I think that's the antenna for power antenna or whatever. I think is what that is. I'm not really sure about that, but I know it's not uh, anything to do with the radio as far as um, speakers or anything like that. So, all right, I'll look at the instructions just in case and see what it says. And by the magic of video editing, we have every one of those done now. They are all heat shrinked, all soldered, all ready to go. So that's pretty much it. Two connectors, the one connector for the radio, everything's ready. So what I'm going to do is take out the uh, new radio and slap that in the 
connectors in and put it in there and just see what happens with it and see if I can see it out in the car or not. I'm, uh, I'm still going to put it in even if I can't see it. <laughs> um, you know, I, I I don't know. It's just, it just just seems like I, I need to do that. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, this is probably going to be the last time if I, if I have a problem with these. I probably won't be able to reuse these again. They're getting kind of short. Uh, probably not too short, but uh, still. Short enough to where, you know, it, uh, it's causing problems. It, you don't want to bend and stuff like that. So, All right, let me go out there and see what's happening. So we'll bring you back. And staples. With print and marketing solutions for business. All right. Well, there you can see. Copies and presentations. I think he says menus, F1, F100.1. More at Staples stores or Staples. And it's got a little flashing thing. Staples. I can't really make that out. I don't have my glasses on anyway, so. From NPR and WBUR, I'm Lisa Mullins. It's here and now. We're following the major so protests that in is, Hong Kong uh, today. Police are forcibly removing. Is, is visible. It's from bright as ever out here. I mean, it's broke in and one of the warmest days of the season, I'd say. The protesters want a controversial but, uh, extradition like said, bill scrapped completely, on. and for Hong Look Kong's it. leader to step down. It has good sound too. I mean, it's uh, reporter Adrian Ma is in Hong Kong. Really nice. A highway. I haven't tried pairing the Bluetooth with it, but I'm going to do that next, so we asked him to stand by. Alright, well you can hear, it does work. And all you have to do is switch for the next song on the playlist, you just hit the forward. See, you guys thought I had old Herman Herman's, Herman's Herman's on there, didn't you? All right, that uh, Bluetooth is working great, and I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm going to try the uh, this thing next. Let me get that out, and I'll bring you right back. All right, well that was working too. Let me try to see if this works with that. Sure does. Next thing is to do is tear all this out again and put that back in. Uh, I got a little bit of a problem here. I noticed when uh, he put that in, there's a, there's a gap, or not a gap, but uh, it goes in here and it's even here. So I want to try to fix that if I can. I, it's not a big deal, but you know, I just kind of like it to be like it's supposed to be. <laughs> I know, I'm picky. Uh, anyway, so that's the uh, next thing going on. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. It is a little warm out here. Now, as long as the breeze is blowing, it's not too bad, but it uh, exactly, you know, I don't know. So anyway, like I said, it, it is working real, rather well, and you can see it. Now, I've got my sunglasses on. I can even see it with sunglasses on, so that is not bad at all. 
so I like it. I like it a lot. See the funny little clown, see him laughing. Don't let the sun catch. From the Supremes to the Jersey Boys, I've got it all, so. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna end this, or probably go back in the house now and we'll recap from there. All right, it's a little bit after three now in the afternoon. Uh, as you can see from the previous, I think my glasses need cleaning. Um, previous footage, <laughs> the uh, new radio works rather well. I'm very happy with it, and I don't I don't plan to peel that off. I don't care if it's not supposed to be there; it works. I don't care. So, <laughs> um, anyway, that's going to do it for today. I uh, was going to do some more, but this is going to make a video, so let me just do that and be done with it. It's, it was so hot out there. I was going to try to put that in, but it's just too hot. Just like this one I got out. You can't touch this back of this when you get it out of there. It's just that hot. And it's all I could do to get it out because I had to unplug it. But uh, like I said, this piece here, um, den, whatever, mount, whatever it is, has to come off of here and be mounted into the plastic uh, dash piece. And then I can slide the radio right in. It's no problem. So that will work out great once I get it done and you could hear it worked really nice it was really good sounding radio and it, Bluetooth works uh, auxiliary works radio stations pick up <laughs> what more could you want right the only thing I haven't done yet is figure out and I'll do that once I get it in there this has got presets on it that you can actually use I believe um, and I'll have to read the instructions again on that but I think it's these three buttons at the bottom they're basically uh, each end is like a, a preset so you have preset uh, six of them on that one on that one each button or uh, six of them all together one on each end of uh, three buttons so that's six yeah. so this thing here I don't know when I'll get to it but I am wanting to uh, dis desolder the uh, display and see if there's any way possible of fixing it uh, with a new one uh, it's not the uh, end of the world like I said 12 bucks is 12 bucks it's not gonna make me or break me but uh, I just thought, you know, it might be handy for somebody to have if, uh, if I can get a new display for it. So, like I said, somebody indoors that can see it. And then maybe, you know, there's a possibility. I never thought about this, but I think it's basically the same display in that one. And th this one's visible on the outside, so it may just be a bad um, display. You know, that's possible. So, because I heard, you know, I looked on the, on the Internet for people, other people complained about you couldn't see it. Nobody else complained, so <laughs> that might tell you something. I don't know. All right, that's enough for me. Like I said, it's uh, after 3 in the afternoon. Uh, Bob's on his nap period. <laughs> we have been working feverishly on the uh, PTR project to get it ready to go out. We have our, uh, our guys that we're sending the beta versions to and hopefully get some good feedback from them guys. And uh, I will tell you after they all receive theirs who, who got it and stuff like that. Um, but I'll, I'll put it this way: if they want me to, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna re reveal their identity if they don't want me to. So we'll put it that way. But uh, like I said, um, this is working. I'm happy. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And we will see ya.